Hi YouTube. Um, you see, I have schizophrenia, and the topic of this video is that is war just part of the human sight? You see, as someone with schizophrenia, um, I sense angels and demons and I see them once in a while not all the time thankfully because I don't think I would be that functional if I see them vividly every day um, I've, I've had a lot of paranormal picnics with my schizophrenic brain there are a lot of things that is very really weird seeing these um, really odd entities like example my first um, hallucination of an angel would be an orb I saw in my bedroom like because I do artworks because of what I have just to cope but I could still function think thankfully because I, I used to not function a lot before that like like it looks like this and it made me wonder like how does the human brain can do that? Um, it it felt and it looks so real that it makes me wonder is are these myths just part of our human sight? Like I know my brain is a bit complicated, but it makes me really wonder about um, human nature like you come in some places like me for example and also encountered demons and also have experiences with angels and it made me question like is being a human being just part of having, you know, just like having a conflict within a, within ourselves? But excuse me if I pause a lot because um, I'm still having some symptoms of what I have. Um. But don't get me wrong, I've seen um, angels before while I was riding the train. Just one time recently, I was looking out my window on a suburban place and saw a really, really beautiful blue orb across the place. It like brightened two times. I was looking at it, how does, like, how does it look so real? Like, it really look real. I'm not, I'm not really, um, what's that called? I'm not, uh, the type that disregard spiritual, uh, probabilities or spiritual possibilities of other beings in other dimensions. But I look out throughout history, um, people also experience this, also notice this. Because the way I see it, um, people, the way how people uh, see each other is like, oh, I don't like that person because of this and that, or oh, she must be. He or she must be evil. 
or oh look he she's pretty much good but I realize I feel like part of a lot of conflict in human history is just a war within ourselves you know people would say I'm I'm crazy that a lot would say I'm crazy seeing these things but you know it it makes me wonder a lot like because I'm stuck with it it makes me wonder a lot how much we don't know of the human side especially when sometimes it correlates with real life like one of my harsh experience with demonic entities is um, uh, after I fought one of the demons I, I just don't know I'm just gonna assume it's just gonna be from my imagination because by it felt so real one of the lights in the room be got broken even though no one touch it it was just me fighting something that I don't understand I'm okay though I got better because um, somehow I got better and when you go through those experiences it's just it makes me really see that the human mind is very complicated you know people judge a lot when it comes to um, when it comes to mental illness I I don't really have much of an opinion because it's it's a very it's a very tricky subject because we really have no idea about the human mind people example would assume oh that the little kid must be evil because he or she killed a baby they and they would know that he or she has a mental illness or a mental condition but they don't realize how much um, we don't know about the human psyche of how much it may do that we don't want or what is also desirable like I say desirable because um, one of the things that I've experienced, you know, angels also helped me out one time at night. Well, it was, it's not just one time, but it's a couple of times. Like, I was going home from work, and somehow I feel paranoid. Like, not, not like in a bad way, in like in a good way, like there's a warning. I don't know why I felt it, even one of my voices would tell me, like the, one of the angelic voices start from the good would tell me oh be careful when you drive at night so so I'm like all watchful it was like 11 p.m. and I was expecting something to happen and something did happen a driver randomly turned right and almost hit my front hood but I just stopped calmly like I, w like I would know something will happen so, I don't know if my brain is just really analytical or just really sensitive that maybe it shows probabilities of what's going to happen at night in, back then when the driver almost crashed my car, but it makes me realize how much do we really know about the human mind, like we're quick to judge the way how others are perceived, especially those with mental illness. And we don't even know the nature of the human mind. Like, we would love to know as humans and mostly comfortable thinking that we know everything about the human side. But after me, um, um, experiencing something paranormal or 
all, and also um, seeing something that is uh, that is uh, very mythical and it looks very realistic it makes me stop and wonder especially during especially um during busy times like because you know I'm a I'm a college student and I know I have to really become disciplined on on what I'm trying to major in but it makes me just wonder seeing these things especially I've also seen angel wings and seeing these things makes me wonder like is it really just part of our nature so yeah I, until now I don't know if it's really just part of our nature it, but it you know it's mystifying and it, it's beautiful at the same time and you see um I have you know during one of my difficult times in the past where I was not feeling well um, during one of the times I was not doing well I've I've drew this um, image of what I was experiencing inside it's usually like it's like a theme and mostly like good versus evil or wrong or wrong versus correct and the way how because you know I've learned some science um, subjects especially biology and anatomy I look and I'm like wait the human brain has two sides the left and the right hemisphere you know it, it's like maybe it's designed to be in conflict with each other I know that I have mental illness but it just makes me wonder why does having schizophrenia makes you see this it's like a it's like there's not really an enemy in my in my case I, I am there's beautiful hallucinations I have which is not a lot common to a lot of people who have my mental illness it makes me wonder like maybe maybe the way how our brain is designed is conflicting like but at the same time it's because for because we're evolved that way to survive I guess because I've seen but then again I know other animals they have also two hemispheres and they don't act like us but you could still see there's conflicting um, there's conf conflicting uh, scenarios in any mammals you find in nature it just amazes me how us humans are the only maybe I'm not I'm not sure because we don't know a lot of things so maybe we're the only one that can imagine or hallucinate things because I don't really know any animal besides humans that have uh, that can or are able to have schizophrenia so yeah it makes me really wonder you know and but at, at the, uh, until today I'm still shocked how beautiful my angel hallucination my hallucinations are like I've one time I've seen one in my above my bed and it was terrifyingly beautiful and it makes you feel like there's something that um, a lot of people um, have no idea can exist I guess because the more I 
think about these things, the more I realize that um, us being humans, we're pretty much ignorant on the wider picture of the whole world. Like, although demons that uh, I've sensed are pretty much nasty, they do make a good point though, like, like one of them would say, me going to church, oh, they would say, they used to burn people like me, you know, like those with mental illness in a state, you know, in Catholic churches back then. You know, I feel bad, and, but at the same time, it is true. It's, it's like, it's like humanity as a whole, it's like humanity as a whole, um, just repeats history. But I can't really blame myself or others because something tells me conflict and war is just part of human nature. That of course we have to fix. Um, that we have to fix as, you know, as human beings, you know, for humanity. So. And um, and I've tried really hard to just think that there's nothing in my first bedroom, like where my first psychotic episode happened. I just try so hard. There's no imagine. I don't know if it's imagine, but there's no demons I sense there. But it's it's still there. I mean, as long as I have my meds, I would not see them or feel them. But I would sense them. But and without my meds, I would feel them. So so I really I really don't know what's going on. Like here, for example, this is what I sense in my bedroom. It's it's weird. It's like it's like these conflicting mythological creatures there's like a wider picture behind it it's like it's like I think it's just part of the human side like there's no other way out of it for me although I'm hoping that I would be you know fully healed but it just makes me realize that maybe you know it's just part of the human side and Maybe we can fix these conflicting um, experiences we have as human beings, as and also towards you know us towards each other, especially during these times where there might be World War Three, and I don't want that from happening. Hopefully not. So yeah, that's that's one that's what I want to share today as a YouTuber and I hope you find this uh, video interesting this video is meant for mental health awareness and also um, helping Mother Earth, you know just hoping that there won't be any nuclear holocaust in my lifetime or anyone's lifetime so yeah that's all I gotta share. So, um, bye and may you have a great day. <laughs>